and then we're off to the tactical weapons, which I don't think I'm going to be able to get to. Okay, C1 has made it around the island, is now making it around the buoy, and is heading back to the starting point. I've used an hour of tape. I haven't gotten anybody in the obstacle course yet. I'm going to try to backtrack, see if I can catch up to some of the other teams. This is the, haven't had a gap yet in my filming. Uh-oh. I think I just miscalled the uh, E3 and C1. I've just been told the last company was C1 and I called it out as E3, so that is my mistake. These guys are E3. They've got to catch up to C1. Here we go. And um, so, unfortunately, this is what happens when you're this far away. You cannot tell who it is you're tracking. So the Eagles are now coming across. C1 finished ahead of them. And um, see what happens. Now, Dad, has your son done this before? No, he has not. Okay. First. Yeah, it's first time for my guy, too. Unfortunately, he's an alternate, so he's just going to be kind of following along. Where is he? Oh, I see him. It's hard to keep this steady, though. But I've got a good video of him. I'm just about to run out of tape, though. What kind of camera is that that you got? It does look like a good one. This is a Panasonic. I spent a thousand on it. It's not in HD, though. But the HD files are gigantic. It's nice and clear, but it takes up so much room. Okay. There they are. They have made it. This is actually E3 Eagles. Okay. Here comes G4. Oh, D4. D4 has finished the obstacle course. I'm gonna have to backtrack here, try to get to the obstacle course. Okay, another company is making its way through. Okay, guys. Go get them. Okay, so that is D2. Okay, we have another one coming through. Who do, who do we have, guys? East Carolina. East Carolina, excellent. Hey, oh, well. Well. Okay, so that was most likely D4 that just went by. So D2 is coming out to uh, do the boat now. Dragons have a cheering squad right nearby.
Looks like East Carolina has made it over there already. Well, these guys are running through the island. Now, D4 has just turned the corner on the island. They are not allowed to stay close. They actually have to go over to the buoy. Even though they practice this, they must be changes in obstacles and paths that they have to contend with. Skier, they have made the gate. Now, these guys over here, now back. Starting their time around the island. Oh, they're losing some time by not going straight. There was D four. Oh no no no. It might have been D four. I think this is D four. Thank you. 
Okay, here we go. Now, a D2 being chased by East Carolina, I believe. Running out of battery here, so hope it doesn't die on me. That is East Carolina. That's an ROTC team. They are, right, they look like they're a, uh, a crew boat, right? They obviously practice this. They're looking good. Okay. East Carolina is looking strong. They have almost caught up. I believe East Carolina started um, 15 minutes behind. No, 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 they started at the same time as D4. And D4 has gotten ahead. These guys are really strong. Uh-oh, they cut them off because of their paddling abilities. <laughs> All right. That's funny. But the way they steered back and forth there. <clears throat> okay. Gonna have to change batteries now. Chile, Chilean Military Academy has just made it through the obstacle course and is on their way to do the boat around the island. A 30 times zoom, getting some of those folks, we'll get them as they come around. Obviously, we have some folks here who are cheering on the Chilean team. Okay, the Chilean team has just gotten around the island. But they have to be careful to look for the buoy.
Okay, they're looking good. Okay, now I call for my son saying that E4 is ranked second, I think, after shooting yesterday. And so they may be starting early, so I have to go back and see if I can find if that's the case. But in the meantime, the Chile, Chilean Military Academy has done very well getting around the island. And I'm going to pack up and go see about my son's team. F1. <laughs> Okay, super. F1. And they go up to the obstacle course. Wait, wait, wait. Team. What team is this? What team is this? Oh, Texas A&M. Good roll. job, guys. Nicely done. Good job. Of course, baby. Let's go. Let's do that. Let's go, let's roll. Okay. Texas A&M takes off for the obstacle course. A4 apparently is on the LRC now. Passing a board. Four boards. Probably a maximum time here. This is a difficult course. Event. Okay, so here's the guys cheering them on. C2 apparently is here. Nine o'clock start with A2. Who are these guys? D3, D3. D3 is on its way. Okay. See who's over here. Obviously, a lot of flags from different schools and countries. Hi, guys. He just fell, made
one is warming up. There you go. <laughs> so you guys run things here, huh? You're uh, part of the uh, Department of, of Military Army. Instruction. Right. And it's been ongoing for six months now. Right. The plan, the plan has actually uh, actively been going on for about six months. Right. Because uh, what we need to do is we need to get the, the guidelines out there six months in advance so the teams have enough time to start preparing themselves and start training for it. Got it. So these are the uh, Canadians behind you? Uh, that is the Sandhurst Team Red. Oh, okay. Canadians are. <laughs> are the folks that stand a chance of winning it all. Well, everybody stands a chance. This is true. <laughs> Said with a big smile. Sounds like what, second now? Yeah, yeah, yeah they stand. Yeah. Team 4 was the core favorite. Oh, is that right? Who's now in the lead after shooting? D1 got D4? F2. F2, F2 and D4 is behind them by one second. Oh, F2 shot the best. Yes, sir. Ahead of the uh, everyone. Oh, amazing. The Canadians are back here. Okay. Okay, so this is San First Red, Royal Military Academy. Alright, the next team coming down the strip. Coming from across the pond. Sandhurst Red! Yeah. That's my team. Wow, there's at least four supporters down there. Great. So we don't need them. Okay, so my son's team, I just found out from the starting judge, will not be moved ahead. What time do you start on? Hold, hold, hold. Hold, hold. hold. E1. E1 already went. Fifteen <laughs> seconds for the Sandhurst Red Team to start. Getting ready to go. And this is the Canadian Royal Military Academy cadets. Hey, Mike. Bravo, boy. Two missing guys. Uh, inspection. This is going to be a filming of inspection. Somebody just got a 30 second penalty 
inspection issues. Did they get a 30 second deduction? What uh, is there's the... An, there's an inspection inside. Right. That goes on just checking equipment, uniformity. Right. Uh, everything that they have. And if they're missing a certain item, it's a 30 second deduction. And today it's been a lot of people, one of the items is having a pen and a pencil. Uh huh. And teams will have either or, so they don't have both. So that's what they've been getting gigged on. Oh, I see. Interesting. So, and then a 30 second so deduction. And at the it's end. just a, a matter of following the rules. Yes, sir. To, the, to the letter. Yep. Got it. Excellent. Now, is, who is this over here? Oh, it's Navy. Oh, this is Navy's team, okay. I've never been like that. Um, with me, so. Really? It's really, I mean, it felt good. Didn't okay, here is Mike shit. Nielsen, Cadet Nielsen, who, oh, E4, who is a support guy. Was an yeah. alternate, but the knee was misbehaving. So you, so you, so you gonna? Stupid ass play. So, so are you going to actually have the the knee checked again on Monday, though? Yeah, I'm gonna have it checked. But from what I've seen, like every time I run, it just gets better and better. And really? It's getting more and more normal. So, hope, I'm hoping that by aerosol will be completely normal. Oh, so you're normal. thinking that you're not gonna have to do anything else? Well, if it keeps going at this, uh, if it keeps healing at this rate. And it's going to be complete. It'll probably be completely normal by aerosol because I still got like five, six weeks. Okay, so this is E4. And last week it had. Last week it locked up. This week, it, at the beginning of the week, it had low tension. Now towards the end of it, it's not really, not really bothering me in terms of that stuff. So Good. it's gonna slowly progress. Time. Well, I've gotten a lot of the teams, Mike, but I had to kind of take a break and come back because I was afraid that you guys would start on me. And I would miss, I would miss it because I intend to follow you all the way through the rope bridge. I know. Um, and then I probably will not be able to go to weapons or first aid. Land nav probably not be a good idea yet because they're going real fast. That's when they're probably going to be fast. Oh, now who is over there? Different teams. I wonder if, uh, oh, I wonder if they've already come through. It's kind, of, it's kind of hard. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess. And then it once you, once it's actually dangerous. Once your head starts going below water, you start to naturally freak out, which doesn't help the situation at all. So you have to just be like, breathe. The head goes underneath the water. It's okay. This is F four, Mike. F two. Sorry, guys. Now these, these are the fighting frogs, right? Yeah, that's a four. Excellent. G2, okay. Hey guys, there's somebody on G2 that I'm supposed to know from the parent forum. I was talking to your parent, so I was I was asked to film G2 a little bit. So I don't know who it is, but we have Cadet. Jump coach. Mullinger. Okay. Gator. Okay. Weshi. Perchette. Okay. Excellent, guys. Good luck. What parent form are we talking about? Oh, it's us uh, parents of USMA cadets. Yeah, no, no, we we conspire behind your back. <laughs> you guys responsible for whammies now? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I know who it is. The G2 person I met was in the car last Sunday on Easter Sunday with their parents. What was it? No, I think it was you. Were you? Who was here last? Who was here ahead of time on What's Sunday? Time? I, I saw you, sir. You're in the car. Looking You're the guy I'm thinking about. Okay, excellent. Who? The leader is 
he's like the captain of the team, basically. Yeah, he's, he's a squally he's a guy in charge of the team. Okay, and what's his name? Jake Sass. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so he is talking to everyone, strategizing. Mm -hmm. Okay, now who are the other folks on the team? Who's the girl here in the black jacket? Well, that's the corner. Okay, and what about the person next to her? Wait, and which side? Just to, just to the left, sitting right. down with the hat on. That's Ezra Swanson. He's real fast. He's probably one of, if not the fastest guys on the team. Like, okay, now who else do we have here? Right next, right next to him. The guy yep. next to him without a hat. That's yep. Sam Winstead. Okay. Really good guy. And okay, the now girl. there's another girl with her back to me. Holcomb, she's um, yeah, she's our primary girl on the team. She's real fast, real good. Okay. And the person kind of kneeling a little bit. Right. That's Finley. Smart guy as well. Got it. <laughs> real, they're all real fast. I mean, crap. The okay. guy next to him sitting down with his arms crossed. That's Monty. He's a track track runner back in um, back when he went to regular college before he came here. The guy I'm on the team because he's just. He's real, he's a lot of brute force, really quick. Cool. Okay, now behind Monty, sitting with the hat on. That's Dibble. Dibble is a real good guy. He's also, he loves Sanders and everything, real high up in his class, does everything real well. You know, by book, all that stuff. Not the guy sitting over here with no hat on. That's Boone, he's a freshman. He got recruited for the team when Patterson got injured. How about the, um, this guy standing? Terminal, terminal, he's just, he just like, sort of like us, he's help, he helps out. Got it. Super. Okay, well, I'm going to go back to the car, drop off my jacket and some of my other stuff, mm -hmm. and I will see you at the starting line, I guess at 11. I don't want to get anybody in trouble. No problem, man. Hey, buddy. Love you. Oh, come on. Graduation day. So you never explained. You just now, uh, Mike, I thought Dibble was one of the guys. Yeah. Oh, so this, this is Blue Man, basically. This is my producer. This is Matt Hawk. Good guy. He's, he's just showing his nice. support for Lieutenant Dibble. Opus Day style? Opus Day style, exactly. No. E4 is looking very studly here. I was like, oh, what's your next Oh, yeah, you should definitely bring it. <laughs> guys, Ryan Lander is the other guy that has something. Cadet King is over here next to Michael. <laughs> There we go. This is E4. Wow, we got some more E4s down here. Bad row! Woo! Elvis lives. Okay, look at this guy. Let's go, bud. Come on, guys. I need some spirit action here. Nice American flag that we got going, E4. <laughs> Smiley face guy. Excellent. This is must be happy for America. Fantastic. And here we go, Blue Man. Looks like a professional wrestler here. Man, who, who's got Elvis Lives on his back? Oh, there we go. Super. Super. Nice going, guys. Go naked. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, wait a minute. We got some more stuff going on here. That is quite uh, amazing uh, how much orange is actually on there. That's a whole tube, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so they make say every time you pass, like, oh, amazing. There we go. E4. Right in the middle of them. Uh oh. I'm so addicting this. It's like sunburned. Ah! It was wet! I remember he got me a turn of the band on my back. 
Oh. There we go. Hey. A different color now. Yeah. Uh, got to do the other side now. No, dude. Like when people look at me, it'll be straight, right? Okay, my turn. Let's see. The other way. Okay. <laughs> okay, Jenkins, good job. Wait a minute. He's the man. Jenkins, the guy. Okay. The sign for class of 2011 is still up here. The greet people. Many of the class of 2011 is actually over here with E4. Is that McDonald? You know Mike Nelson. What do you have to t What do you have to say about this kid? <laughs> that, yeah, that guy. He's a good guy. Nelson. He's okay. You know he has McDonald's in his uh, heritage. Oh, does he? Yes. His great grandfather came from Scotland. Okay. Are you McDonald's from Ireland or Scotland? Scotland. You are. Oh, very good. Very good. And where are you Where are you from? Alabama. Uh, okay. Well, very good. Listen. Good. Is that Pal? Hey, nobody. I've met you before. At dinner, we sat at the same table. And uh, have anybody here today? Your folks are from where? Oh, that's right. It's a bit far. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's too much. For me, it's easy for me to just get in the car and scoot down here. But this stuff here, the, a lot of these guys that do this are not quite as filled in as you are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm not like really. Like they, they have to, they have to be more wiry. I'm not really to, uh, optimized for this kind of thing. You know, they're like a, they're like a filled-in linebacker style, I think, or maybe defensive lineman even. Yeah, I got here nice and early. I got to see the start. I say E4 has quite a bit of uh, spirit going on. Sanders is big. A West Point team hasn't won it for at least a couple of years, but I think we're the last West Point team to win it. Was E4, yeah. Yeah, you're right. But when I did it, I did it. I made sure I didn't put them in. Probably have a good chance. We got a pretty decent. I understand we're second after the shooting. So yes, certainly sir. a great start. Definitely. Might as well start that way than any other way. This guy's funny with the mask. It's got to be hot in there, though. Oh, this is funny. Painting him up. <laughs> oh, the Elvis guy, Elvis lives. I thought he was finished. There he is. We've got to get him. Janak, you have to make our uh, video regularly. Uh, and who is this guy? I love Sal. John That's right. How you doing, bud? Good. How are you? Good. Excellent. Comment down. We were back to back during Beast. Oh my gosh. Ah. We were the two shortest guys. We were too short. We always got floated. Every day. <laughs> Now, now are, you're in E4 as well? Yeah, I'm a roommate. You, you are? Okay. I'm, I'm that I am guy. sorry, John. I, John, First. now where, where are you from, John? Syracuse, New York. Uh, he just never gets attention because Alex is always bitching. You can't hear me complaining. <laughs> All the time. Well, because you don't complain. Alex always keeps things lively. Oh, my God. Right? 
Mike, I think like we should throw the book so at Klein. Yeah. Mike, I think that your version of gun control is retarded. Mike, I think that we should not allow any censorship of anything. Mike, I think... Um, <laughs> we were talking about smoking cigars the other day. Oh, yeah. Mike, I think no one should smoke cigars. No, ever when it... I'm like... Traditions are stupid. Traditions are completely stupid. Like, dude! Alex loves to take the devil's advocate position on things. Well, John, great. We were up in Syracuse not too long ago. Stayed there for uh, an evening on our way to Buffalo. Oh, yeah, that's right. Mike's brother was resting on our Exactly. exactly. Always with you, baby. Yeah, man. You got help. You got knee help? Exactly. Okay. okay, John Knox, see ya. Well, the, uh, I, and I have a good friend from East Manoa. Mm-hmm. I'm East Manoa. It's been like a little bit. It's here. Not too much. I've never been out there. Oh, is that right? Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's a little bit, little bit out, uh, a little bit further out, I guess, in the, the country, maybe, if you want to call it that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what is that about halfway to Buffalo, or is that a different direction? Because I used to play a lot of hockey, so I travel all around New York State. No, no, East Benoa is right near Syracuse. Is it really? Yeah, no, no, it, it is. It's on the east side. It's, uh, hmm. yeah, I guess it's... No, it's about five minutes out of the city, so... Uh, did you enjoy Buffalo? We did. Yeah. We did. We went up to Niagara Falls and stuff. It's so sad. It's like, why? Syracuse is dying too. That's the truth. They're trying to bring back the Emerald City idea of the green technology that starts with festival and things. Right. Hopefully they can bring it back. But it really hasn't done anything in years. Well, my business, my business, the National Grid, has done a lot to invest up there. Mm-hmm. So, um, so you're looking forward to the new mall. I mean, so it gets better? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, that's going to be a big move. <laughs> you back in Syracuse? Right. Syracuse, man. I brought you Syracuse. Right. Right. You probably passed out of the house and went to Albany. Any point in time you're on uh, West James East Street? Uh, yeah. Let's go to Albany. Probably come to 81. Whoa, this guy's getting there. Yeah. It's a lot better than it was before. Oh, um, yeah, I like it. I like how it came in. Hopefully we will see both of these guys in June at Air Assault. Jenkins. Repelling. Says my good friend Jenkins. <laughs> Jenkins, man. He obviously has a good sense of humor. <laughs> Excellent. Good job, guys. There we go. Yes. <laughs> now, now, who is this guy? I don't know about you. Nobody special, sir. Just regular cadet. Regular cadet. Believe they get hands. With a uh, with a nice hat. Excellent. Nice mask over here. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom right in on that thing. Who is this? Cadet who? I see, man. I would have never been able to do that. Who's underneath that mask? Where'd you get the old grad hat? Uh, I can't tell all my secrets. All right. Uh, it's a little bit of a secret. There you go. Dan Finelba. Now you can buy it on campus. Is it a C store? Oh yeah. Yeah. Are the second, talented corporal Ivanko. Floor. Oh, is that who's doing this painting? Yes. Oh, very nice. Good job, actually, yes. <laughs> tell you, you guys are more, the most colorful company of all. Yeah. There is nobody even close to you guys. I'm trying to go naked, sir. Is that? <laughs> trying to go naked, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. E-Force twin team, huh? Yes. Oh man, super, <laughs> super, cool, got it, I got it, now actually I'm focusing in on this guy's head over here, it's a big star, Yo, he's on C's executive right hand. He's still. They don't keep up. Wait, Deb. Okay, here it goes. Go E4. Oh, E4. He goes that way in orange. 
Nike. Nike, yeah. That looks good. Do they have any more people? How can you Yeah. Not that much, sir. But uh, they're pretty good for the right. Right. You guys should get it. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, 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 ah, power lines in the middle pool. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. I thought it was lines in a metal pole. Yeah, that doesn't go over too well. Okay. Oh, I think that's chilly. Oh. Afghanistan has just arrived. Excellent, nice warm reception. Okay, so here comes D1. The Ducks are getting a big, a big uh, applause here. Mascot, of course. And now they're over at their board figuring out what they're going to do. This is all E4 parents. Now, once again, you are? Um, Ann McCollum. And, and your son is? Caleb McCollum. Caleb McCollum. He's one of the team leaders. Yes. Okay, <laughs> excellent. That's his daddy over in the blue shirt. <laughs> Super. Nice going, Dad. <laughs> Here's the squad leader's mother. Ah. Barb Sass. Okay, yep. My son was pointing out each of the guys on the team before. Sass's father. Cousin in law. <laughs> well, they're, they're supposedly second after the shooting yesterday. That's what we heard. Last so, second. So that is quite incredible. On the Sandhurst journey on the Sandhurst Strip is Iowa State University. Yeah, go Iowa. Iowa State University. ROTC team. trying to deal with the um, LRC and are having the same difficulty as everybody else. I guess it's possible. Boy, what he seems to be getting it done. I've been watching this, go, this morning. This uh, Iowa State. Sir. Is, is that where you're from? Yes, sir. I'm a uh, uh, senior military instructor. Ah, what's your name, sir? Best Sergeant Scott. Well, excellent. Welcome to West Point. Thank you. Glad you're here. It's a very nice place. I have a cadet on E4 who okay. is actually their medic. Mm. He is support. Come on, State! And, um, at the public affairs okay. gentleman this morning who is out trying to film as many Tight. of the uh, ROTC teams as oh, possible. You get them up there. I told them I would get as much as I could on my film. Oh, and then match them up later on. If I post them up on Google. Okay. So you'll be able I'll probably end up having to post like three different videos by the time I'm done. Okay. What I'll do is I might follow you guys over to the wall. Okay. 
just so that I can, because that's, that's actually a more fun event to film. There's quite a bit more action. Very much Here so. is a balance issue, and uh, I'm just telling you, the odds of getting all nine of those guys to the other side. <laughs> I, don't, I haven't seen anybody do it. But they also haven't been here the whole time. Yeah, there's, been, there's, been, there's been a few. The team here, they're trying to do the teeter totter. So when did you uh, come in? To uh, to the point? Yeah. Uh, we've been here since basically Wednesday morning at uh, midnight 30 we landed. Oh, really? Oh, so it's not that long. Okay. Oh. Iowa State University team let's go, let's go. going to the wall. Now, H1 Root Hogs coming down. Okay. This is actually being covered nice, nicely by. I'm gonna have to get back to see the start of my son's team. Unfortunately, nice going, guys. Iowa State University. There we go. Root hogs. H1. Okay, nice sign. Okay, I think the squad leader, Sass, has a cheering squad here. Well, probably the Sass family. Nice. Go just found out that is not E4. That was a team completing a course one time that has come around. Okay, Georgetown has just finished. But if I see them at the wall, I'm gonna miss my own son's uh, team starting.
feel the energy. There they go. Okay, I'm going to try to get up, see them close by. Okay, so E4 has gotten their first guy up there. We'll have to see how they do here. Nobody seems to be able to get across. I'm also running out of my second tape, so I'm going to have to switch tape soon. Okay, E4. Guess he has board. Trying to be careful. Okay. Board is too small. Yeah, that's a good job. So the board is very heavy. Oh, nice going there, kid. Okay, now I'm going to hold it. Here we go. No, don't do that. No. no. That's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. You should have used his right foot. No, no, no. I put his right hand in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they have themselves a problem, but that was a nice move. To put the board on the knees. Okay, I'm going to switch to the other side. I don't think I've seen anybody do this. And fortunately, that is not going to be easy to hold. Very good. Problem is, what does he do from here? <laughs> okay. I'm out of tape on this one. I think they're stuck. Hey, I, li I like your uh, colors here, hon. You've appeared before on my video when you were doing your arm. All right. <laughs>